Hey guys, welcome to the Henry video. Uh, this is a ship I wanted to talk about just a little bit after having a pretty insane game with. Um, I wanted to play Cruisers today exclusively on stream, and eventually Henry came up. Um, it's a ship I haven't played in a while, but one that has a pretty interesting past as far as uh, its power level goes. Um, when it came out, basically nobody played it because everybody thought it was not very good um, for some reason. I don't really know what, remember why that was, um, but it got buffed by adding this reload booster to it. And then suddenly everybody played it and it was the meta for clan battles and everything for a long time. Um, and then it got nerfed by reducing its um, ability to accelerate and break. Um, which was a good change, which made it hittable. Because the, the crazy thing about this ship is how much range it gets. Uh, how fast the reload is, how much damage these guns do, all that stuff. Um, it's it's pretty insane. The guns are 240 millimeter guns, so that means they pen 38 millimeters of armor by default, which means this Ohio, his deck armor and his upper belt armor, I can get through, um, which is pretty nice, because there are a lot of Ohios and Montanas out there with that kind of armor. Um, the other thing is these. These have 26% uh, fire chance on 9 shells every uh, every 10 seconds with this build running the legendary upgrade and reload, um, giving me that massive range and insane reload at a sacrifice for uh, sacrifice and concealment, but that's fine. You don't really need concealment in a Henry, honestly. You're really just this long range gun support ship, really. Um, the other thing to note, despite the shell arcs not being amazing, uh, the armor piercing actually has a really, really high pen values and is really, really good against broadside battleships or uh, cruisers especially. Um, it's actually almost on Moskva levels of penetration, despite the shells not being anywhere near as fast as Moskva's are, which is pretty nice. But um, yeah, this ship, the... People seem to have stopped playing it after the uh, maneuverability nerf. Uh, I'm not sure why, because the guns are still just as amazing as they were when it was this massive meta-defining ship. Um, you just can't quite speed juke as much as you used to. Like, there were times before where you could solo dodge like four or five battleships all shooting at you just with how maneuverable this ship was. It, it was crazy with the speed boost, it was insane. Um, and so I think it was a really well needed nerf um, as far as maneuverability is concerned. It's really not great for the game when you're just able to move forward, backwards, forward, backwards and constantly dodge shells pretty easily, I would say. Um, even good players who are trying to predict you are gonna have a rough time just in how much distance you can tra cover in the amount of time it takes for their shells to get there. So I think it was a good change. Um, for some reason, people just stopped playing it, even though the guns are still amazing. Um, like, I haven't even used a reload booster here yet, and we're already on 65k in the first five minutes. And in fact, we had a pretty slow start, considering um, it took a while to get into position and get things spotted in this game anyway. Um, so yeah, this ship, as you can see with the reload booster, has pretty insane DPM. You're, you pretty much want to save the reload booster for broadside cruisers that you know you can citadel, or when a battleship uh, uses damage control, then um, you pop your reload booster and you're pretty much guaranteed a follow-up fire, just with how brutal the high explosive is on this ship. Um, I do really like these guns. Um, I'm not a huge fan, as you know, of the high explosive meta and how insanely powerful it is, but these guns are nice because they're not rail guns. Um, they do take a bit of skill to aim at long range. Um, obviously not nearly as much skill than if, as if you're using armor piercing since you, do, you only really need to hit the ship anywhere to deal damage with these shells. But as you can see, you do need to aim a little bit. Um, we're kind of missing, well, not that subtle, but we do end up missing this Puerto Rico just a little bit, I think. Um, although with HE being HE, even if you hit the back of his ship, you still do 6,000 damage in a fire. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know if I really like that I'm able to do that much damage that quickly and that easily. But uh, in this game, it sure was nice to be able to. Uh, 
reload boost and use some pretty powerful HE. Um, as you can see, we've kind of pushed their team back as far as where they are. Um, they're trying to stay away from me, at least their battleships have been, um, just with how strong this ship is. And I don't blame them, because it's kind of nuts what damage I can do to them in a short period of time. Um, as far as position positioning goes in this ship, you don't really want to get caught bow in. Um, the, the speed boost is incredibly useful, and I often don't use it to position at nearly as much as I use it just to be maneuverable forwards and backwards when I find a spot I like. Um, obviously it's great for positioning early round if you want to use it that way. You can get your ship up to I think around 40 knots, which is pretty insane, maybe a bit more. So positioning is pretty easy in this ship. Um, you can kind of pick a spot that you want to go to and you'll get there very quickly. Um, but I use it to reverse in. Um, so you'll, you saw me doing that a little earlier and here again you'll probably see me um, I'll turn out eventually and just start reversing in towards them and that's kind of how you want to play this ship It has good turret angles, so you don't have to worry about exposing too much broadside when you are um, Reversed in and angled um, you don't overexpose yourself too much um, Obviously Ohio has 457 millimeter guns, so we have to be careful of that since we only have 30 millimeters of armor and he doesn't really he doesn't really care about the angle of that armor he just punches right through it but we can still dodge a lot of his shells simply by simply by using our speed and our acceleration despite it being nerfed <laughs> by the way um so yeah positions like this are really nice to get into um they're running away unfortunately obviously henry is insane when people push into you but these days people don't really like to push, so you're not going to really find that as much. Um, but it's still pretty solid against people running away as well. Um, as you can see, reversing, you can get up to over 15 knots of speed reversing. <laughs> so that's where the maneuverability of this ship comes in. And here you can see I'm anticipating this Ohio shooting me, and I already started going forward. And. As you can see, the acceleration, despite being nerfed, is still pretty insane to the point where we're actually able to dodge all of his shells, um, which is kind of how this ship used to be played. It's just it was just even more extreme than what you saw there, um, but it's still possible to do it if you um, are predicting correctly. You can't just do it after he shoots. Now you have to predict what they're gonna, where they're gonna shoot, and then do it before they shoot at you. So. It takes a little bit more skill to do now compared to before just reacting to where to them shooting and then doing something um, that won't work anymore but uh, it's still possible to dodge with this ship and we have hydro in this game um, it used to be that this ship was an amazing uh, anti-aircraft boat it used to have some of the best AA at tier 10 um, now it has okay AA, obviously it's not the best skill to uh, spec into since it doesn't really do much to deter uh, CVs these days. So running Hydro is really nice, and you're going to see why uh, in a little bit here in this game. <laughs> um, we've kind of given up all map control on the right-hand side, which is fine as long as we're able to really take map control on, the, uh, on this side of the map here. And we're doing that. Our team's pushing down, but... Uh, Henry is best at its best when people are pushing into you. So I really want to go fight these cruisers. And, um, well, the AP is pretty solid on this ship. Um, as you can see, I've got a reload boost saved for this Zhao. Um, now, he obviously should be angling into me now at this point, since there's nothing up north to uh, really deal any damage to him. But, hey, I mean, I'll take a broadside cruiser any day. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, the AP is just really good. I overlet him just slightly, so only two citadels, but it's still 16,000 damage. And you see how fast we can follow up with reload booster. So, pretty nice, pretty nice deal there. But uh, now we have to deal with two destroyers and a Venezia um, and a Minotaur, all trying to cap our base. And our CV's just chilling out down south, just farming damage on an Ohio, which is a little disappointing, but. Um, at this point we can't charge in as much as I want to as you can see here I'm trying to push in but you got to know when to charge and when you can't and here's a situation where you just can't charge because this Venezia will eat me alive 
Um, the destroyers torping me will force me to angle to them, and then the Minotaur will get on my broadside and just kill me really quickly, since I only have 20k HP and I don't have a heal up. Um, so we turn away. Our Holland is delaying the cap for now, uh, which is good. And so we're going to try and deal some good damage to this Venezia. I miss aim, unfortunately. We could have had him dead here since our Thunder hit a really nice shot. Or, not there. This one I miss aim. Uh, the last one I just kind of got RNG'd on the dispersion. But as you can see, we're already up to 180k damage. And I don't think it was too hard to do this. That's, that's my main problem with high explosive damage is it's not hard to do. You just gotta hit somewhere and you'll deal some good damage. Um, here I pop my reload booster to switch ammo types even faster. I was trying to get my shot off before the Minotaur went dark. Um, but we still end up getting him and there's our confederate and our third kill. Um, here, now that we've dealt with both cruisers, we have to push. Um, our DD died, as you can see. So this thunder is kiting away which is good because obviously he's weak against destroyers so i know he's going to be backing me up which is nice because his guns are on this side of the map he's not really going after the midway um all we have to do right now is stall the cap long enough for our team to all get into their capture zone and we should be able to win the game off of that so my twenty-two thousand health um, is going to be completely used to stall this cap. That's the only way we win because these destroyers could easily just sit in here and win the game for their team. Um, especially with my uh, my CV for some reason not not actually wanting to help us on this cap. I, I don't know what he was thinking but uh, we, end, we do okay anyway. We, the Grozovoy ends up getting spotted because he shot and um, yeah, we're just hard charging at this point. So we know the last known position of the Holland and we know where the Girls Boy is. So we have to be aware that Torps are probably coming from our left here. So as you can see, I'm going to turn kind of into the left. Um, I don't know when the Girls Boy torped, but I know the Holland has Torps back up now since um, actually the Girls Boy, I'm pretty sure it was the one who torped us uh, just a few seconds ago. Um, so I'm waiting for these Holland Torps to come past and then I'll know after he after those torps come past i have about a minute of time to play with um maybe a little less than that maybe a little more before his next set of torpedoes comes in so that's why i'm kind of really angled into where the holland was last known and you see we dodge his torps and you see how tight their spread is that means he's really close to us that means he's probably around six and a half seven kilometers at the most from us so i'm just gonna charge with my speed boost i'm actually about his speed so if he turns to try and torp me again, um, I'll likely be able to get in spotting range. Um, I'm a little wary of the Grozovoy torps now since he just turned out and got his broadside on me. So I have to be wary of those torps now. I have around probably 20 to 30 seconds before the Holland torps come back. So I'm a little careful. Um, at this point, I'm kind of guessing where the Grozovoy torped. Um, I'm hoping he torped off my right hand side, expecting me to do a full turn. And, um, well, we get a little bit lucky here, I'll, I'll admit it. But Henry's so fast that we can kind of get away with turns like that sometimes. And uh, as you can see, charging into these destroyers has forced them to leave the cap. And now that we're back in the cap, should be a pretty easy win um, as far as our team is concerned. But it'd be nice to get these two destroyers yet. Uh, as you can see, the amount of HE damage you get when you full pen everything is kind of absurd. We're damaging modules on his ship permanently and still getting 6,000 damage. It's pretty hilarious. Um, and now we've got Hydro back, so we're pretty safe uh, as far as torpedoes are concerned, which is nice. And here, as you can see, we can just rush this Holland down because he can't run away from us. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about Henry. Once you are in DD range like this and there's nothing to stop you from pushing, uh, yeah, destroyers just die. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. This ship is really good. Um, I don't really like how strong HE is in general, but uh, Henry is definitely a fun ship to play since you're pretty mobile and you're always kind of running around doing things with your speed boost. Um, so this was a pretty fun game. I didn't just sit at the back and snipe. We had to push in, which is always fun for me. Pushing's, I think, the funnest part of this game for me, especially when it's successful and we win the game like that. End up with a Kraken, th over 3k base. Pretty nice game. Um, yeah, and I hope that helped you kind of see how I play Henry 
and the kind of strengths of it. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day.